50 years ago, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. The Ontario Science Centre plans to mark this momentous occasion with exhibits and a screening of the documentary Apollo 11. And a special guest will be on hand to bring his personal perspective of that moment. Philip Shanuk has more. Like almost everyone else on the planet, Mark Armstrong watched Apollo 11 take off from Cape Canaveral in Florida. We had a more suspenseful moment than, than your standard viewer. It was a bit different from the perspective of a six-year-old watching his father take off into space. So we were sitting there looking and all we saw was smoke and we were waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. It seemed an eternity. And eventually we saw, you know, we saw it peek out through this, this exhaust cloud. And take that famous first step. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong is in Toronto today for a special screening of the documentary Apollo 11 at the Ontario Science Centre. This year marks the 50th anniversary of that historic moment and he's happy that there are now plans to return. I do think a return to the moon is overdue, probably long overdue, and I'm thrilled that we are contemplating and planning for a diverse group of people to, you know, to lead that effort. NASA has announced the name of its next mission to the moon. The American Space Agency will call it Artemis, after the Greek moon goddess who is also the twin of Apollo. And that's fitting because the next mission to the moon is also expected to carry the first woman. And after the first all-female spacewalk in March was cancelled because there were no spacesuits that would fit female astronauts, news of a woman heading to the moon inspires these high school students to reach higher. Yeah, it was disappointing because I was actually looking forward to it and I was keeping up with the news about it just because it's amazing, like all women, you know, like, and that's just something that normally doesn't happen. It's like it's becoming more inspiration like to people giving them like hope the women in space exhibit opens may 19th and will be a central feature of the ontario science center's summer of space exhibit celebrating how far women astronauts have gone and how much further they'll be able to go phil bishanok cbc news toronto